Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. We are exploring the arts in Chagrin Falls today. There is a unique place where you can try your hand in different mediums and bring home some local art as well. Rebecca Gruss is joining us. She's the executive director of Valley Art Center. Thank you for having us in this morning, Rebecca. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Well, this is exciting. I know you have some amazing works of art on display that we can all go look at, enjoy, and then purchase as well. Yes, absolutely. So we are standing here in Valley Art Center. We are a local nonprofit community art center located in downtown Chagrin Falls. And we offer art classes, art events, exhibitions. We do public art installations and art outreach. And this morning, we're going to give you a sneak peek at two big events that are opening tonight. And the first one is called our local celebrity art off. And so this is a fundraiser contest where nine local celebrities have created pieces of art oh, wow. for us under, um, I know that's, that's so cool. This amazing. is an interactive um, painting. It's so cool. Um, the, the celebrities have put their heart and soul into these artworks. Um, and they'll be uh, voted on by the public over the next six weeks. So you can go on our website, valleyartcenter.org, and vote for your favorite. We'll be naming the Art Off Champion on March 8th, as well as auctioning off these amazing pieces um, in a live auction. Um, so, are these artists using uh, all this different is our mediums fundraiser. Too? All different meetings. We have everything from oil painting to glass blowing, and like I said, to sound activated painting. So the celebrities really put their heart and soul into these works, and, and we're so excited about that. The other event that is opening tonight is behind the curtain, a true sneak peek here. Oh, um, this is our student faculty exhibition, yes. So um, this exhibition is an annual exhibition. It's our 40th year running. We have over 130 students and faculty showcasing in this exhibition. Everything, again, from oil painting to drawing to watercolor and jewelry design, um, ceramics. And as you can see, it's hard to tell the difference sometimes between some of our students' work and some of our instructors. Um, but we have classes for everybody. We offer over 400 classes. Um, to ages eight and up and all abilities. Um, we even have some classes that are literally called Frady Cat classes. And that's to entice people who are afraid to take that first step and sign up for an art class to, to go ahead and take that step. And you'll be alongside other fellow students who it's their first class too. So um, yeah, we, we have lots of students exhibiting. Tonight is the opening reception. It is six to eight. It is free and open to the public. And we'd love for you to come out and see the show. I love the idea of coming out to see the show. I also love what you meant and mentioned there too, in the sense that when, when people are coming in then to some of these classes, I think you're, you're pulling away the intimidation factor of someone who might be nervous to yeah. try their hand at this because they're a beginner and they might be near someone right. who is very experienced. And I love that you're, because that I think opens up the floor to anyone to feel very comfortable. Absolutely, and that's what it is all about, is that art is for everybody. You know, everyone has a creative side. It's just about digging down and finding that. And sometimes we're afraid to get started or to be judged. But here at the Community Arts Center, we uh, welcome, we have so many beginner classes as well as advanced classes. And um, it's definitely a place to sign up and, and try your hand at it. So you're on Bell Street there in Chagrin Falls. Opening reception is this evening. I think for those who enjoy right. the arts and just want to get a glimpse of some magical work created from local people, this is the perfect right. place to go and do it. Rebecca, thank you so much for having us in this morning and good luck Absolutely. with everything this weekend. Oh, thank you so much. And everything, oh, most of the pieces are for sale. So if you come out, you see something you like, you might be able to take it home with you. I love the idea of that. There are beautiful pieces out there. That okay. guitar one was Thanks, pretty Natalie. impressive too. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Welcome back. Today, we are heading back to class again and learning a new skill. We're exploring the arts and all there is to do in beautiful Chagrin Falls. Rebecca's joining us once again, the executive director of Valley Art Center. And I'm so glad we have two hits with you today because there was so much beautiful art that you were showing. And I thought, man, we could stay there all afternoon and look at some of these beautiful pieces. So thank you for having us. In. I agree. <laughs>
I agree. Thanks for coming back. Yeah, we're back here at Valley Arts Center, a local nonprofit community arts center. And tonight we have an opening reception for all of the arts in this space. It's 130 pieces by our students and faculty tonight. And we're excited to have this opening reception and really celebrate the talents of our students and our faculty. Uh, it's free and open to the public, so come on out to Chagrin Falls tonight for that. But I want to tell you a little bit more about the classes that we offer here yes. at Valley Arts. Center. Uh, we offer over 400 classes uh, in all mediums from watercolor to oil and here we're going to take a sneak peek at a class in session. This is a mixed media class and students are creating pieces uh, with instructor Susan Krause and um, yeah we have classes for all ages and all abilities from beginner to advanced and uh, some of our classes are literally called Frady Cat classes and that's to <laughs> <laughs> remove any inhibitions people have about signing up for class. I um, love that. Do, now, we do you also teach have classes at all times of day? We do. We have classes um, every day of the week except Sunday. We have workshops as well, and workshops are a nice. Um, Workshops are a nice little short class, so you don't have to sign up for a full session. You can just um, come in for a two hour or a three hour and just, you know, see if it's something that you're enjoying. Um, and we also have ceramics and jewelry making. Um, I also wanted to tell you a little bit about in the summertime, we host our annual Art by the Falls Festival. It is a two day outdoor uh, art festival where over 130 artists are exhibiting their work. And we have amazing food and great music. And it's really one of the premier art festivals in Northeast Ohio. Um, and so we'd love for you to mark your calendars for this summer, June 8th and 9th. Uh, we'll be located at the Cleveland Metro Parks Polo Field and it really is a great way to spend a weekend walking through an art festival. Now do you ever find that some of your students when they're showcasing their work here and then they think they want to sell and then they realize oh I just can't part with this piece because it means so much to me. Oh, right? I'm sure that happens. Uh, it, it does happen. Um, we invited every student who took a class in the last year to be a part of this exhibition and most of the students um, have their pieces for sale but some just can't part with them. They're just too dear to them so they have those as not for sale but most of the students are like yeah I'll let it go for a certain price. So a lot of the pieces are for sale and at great prices so if you're looking for something for your home this is the show to come to. And you bring out the young entrepreneurial side of them then as well and get them thinking right? outside exactly. of the box and, and, exp and expressing themselves Absolutely. and I just think that it, art is such a beautiful way to be able to express ourselves and I love again the Frady Cat classes seem amazing that is just wonderful just to yeah. take the fear out of it try your hand at it I mean I'm sure you have people who come to take these classes for a variety of reasons Absolutely. We offer art therapy as well. So some people are taking it for actually learning the, the true skill of uh, a certain drawing technique or a certain painting technique. Uh, but some people are coming for the community of it, uh, being in a classroom and being creative with, you know, your, your fellow neighbors. And, um, and some people are coming to the class for therapy as well, because it really is therapeutic to explore your creative side and create something and, and push yourself in that way. So people come to classes for all different reasons, and I think that's what makes it really beautiful. Well, I can't thank you enough for what you're doing for the community there. Uh, ValleyArtsCenter.org is their website to go to to learn more, especially about this weekend's event. Now, again, opening reception is tonight. Tonight, 6 to 8 p.m. here at the Art Center. It's free and open, and we'd love to have you out. Now I know I have to get going. I have to quickly ask you. There is an entry. It looks like a yeah. staircase that we've walked by a couple of times. Oh, and I have been so intrigued and in wanting to know what that <laughs> is and what you've done. So this is this is what artists who create an art center do with an attic. You make the entrance to the attic really interesting. So all it is is a very low ceiling attic where we have a bunch of storage. I had to ask. I just it but kept that's catching what an my artist eye. does with a staircase. That's amazing. <laughs> again, the artist in work yeah. in motion as we see it there. Thank you again, Rebecca, so Absolutely. much there from Valley Arts Center in Chagrin Falls.